so, shh, Sav, hush. It's going to be the beginning of this video is me telling you to hush, but it's fine. <laughs> All right, so sine and cosine has to be between negative 1 and 1. So if it's like 5 point something, that's not possible, right? But if it's like 0 0.2 something or negative 0 0.2 something, that works. So basically, there's a section on your homework that is going to ask you if it's like possible or not, and you just say yes or no. It could be zero, or but there's all those nice five. decimals in between there. Can you repeat whatever you said about something on our test? You said something about something on the test. On homework. Oh. I thought that said sign in a rose. Functions <laughs> <laughs> and how to tell if a function is even or odd. <laughs> All right, so let's say we have. No. All right, so to tell if a function is even or not. Or odd, really. So, you're plugging in a negative x everywhere there was an x in your function. Negative x. Yeah. So, like, if you have a function, you're plugging in negative x. We'll do some examples in a minute. But, so, if you plug in that negative x, and you, like, simplify everything, and all your signs stay the same, then it's even. So, like, if it stays the same as your original function, then it's even. That's not the same, though. Uh, I know. I'm saying when you plug, this is not like the example. This is just like the rule. So when you plug in a negative x, if it becomes back like your original one, then it's even. Which means it's still a negative x, right? Why well, does it say negative x becomes a positive x? That means when you plug in a negative x, you get the same thing if you would plug in a positive x. So then it's odd if when you plug in a negative x, all of the signs in your function change, making that function a negative function. So that's odd. And then if only some of the signs change and some stay the same, then it's neither. It makes more sense when we do examples in a minute, I promise. Look at this example. So let's say we have a function. That is the absolute value of x. Oh my gosh, I don't know. You just take the x out and make it. You take the x out of the line? Like no. You, you all right, but sh hush. So when you, all right, so that's our function that we're starting with. So to test if a function is even or odd, you have to plug in the negative x. So we're plugging in a negative x into our function. <laughs> you have to do that. That's how you test if something is even or odd. You plug in the negative x. So, I mean, everything always turns into the negative x. Every you x know, does, yes. Now, so, then you have to think about what you know about the absolute value function. It's a negative. What would be positive? Right, so, what happens when you have a negative in the absolute value? It changes positive. Right, it's positive. So, it's the same as this, right? The negative goes away in the absolute value, technically, right? Why? It can't yeah. just change. Oh, okay. Because you do more absolute value. All right, so the absolute value of x is equal to... X. Absolute value of negative x is equal to... You take the negative away. Well... <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Poor Abby, I'm sorry you just had to hear me scream. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey. So, the absolute, hush, the absolute value of negative x is x. So, the sign technically stays the same. Like, you're comparing, like, your negative one to this one. The signs stay the same. So, this is an even function. But what if, what if the only way that could ever happen is if it was an absolute value? It's always going to be even if it's an absolute value. Right, right. the absolute value function is an even function. Always. Yeah, but yeah. like, how, how else if you make x negative? And unless it's like a negative number. It's not always going to be absolute value. No, that's what I'm saying. So like, for it to be even, if it's not an absolute value, it would have to be like 
negative 2 times negative x make it positive? No, it's not even about it being positive. It's about the sign changing. So, like, when you square something, right? So, like, if what if our function is x squared? What happens when you square a negative number? It positive. So that's even as well. Because it stays positive. I'm not putting stuff. This is literally what we're doing on the homework. Wait, wait, wait. All right, let's do a couple examples of some odd functions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we aren't putting numbers in anything? No, you're only putting in negative x's. Like, will there be numbers in the problem that we have to? Like, we'll, like we plug negative x in, but like, it's like 2x? Yeah. Two negative, or negative 2x? Yeah. All right. Let's say we have x cubed. Is it always going to be a positive to be even? No. It can, just if the it sign can, change. If the sign, the sign the has same. to say, so if it starts negative and stays negative, then it's even. Start, don't, don't functions almost always start positive? Not necessarily. I could do this and make it negative. It just depends oh, on what you're given. I, you're meaning like f is like f of x. Yeah. yeah. But it's never like negative f of x, is it? No, that's technically what you get when like all of the signs change, which is what makes it odd. Okay. So like here, when you have x cubed, so like, or negative x cubed. Hmm. So you're multiplying negative x times negative x, which becomes positive x, negative. times another negative x makes it negative x cubed. So, when you're looking at ones with exponents, if you have an odd exponent, like, by itself, right? It's gonna be like, so if this, like, that part's going to be odd, right? If it's even, it's even. Mm -hmm. Okay, but obviously, if you have other numbers added to this, you have to work that part out with your function as well. But, like, if you're doing negative x cubed, it be stays negative. It's like negative x squared becomes positive. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, so not necessarily the function value. Four, if it was a even number, it works out It would be, yes. Or yeah, so odd exponents give you negatives. Even exponents give you positives. Okay. All right. This is odd because they're not. Right, it's odd because the sign of everything in our function changed. So what if the sign of everything doesn't change? What if only one sign Then it's neither. Either. We're going to do an example uh, of that here in just a second. Got it. <laughs> All right, so say our function is um, x minus 1 squared. So my, yeah, my recommendation is to FOIL it first so you only have to do it once. Because then, because if, when you plug in the negative, you would have to FOIL it again to compare. I'm saying FOIL ahead of time, then plug in the negatives, and it makes your life way easier. So when you FOIL that, you get x squared minus 2x plus 1. I like those x minus 1s because they always come out no matter what letter. All right, so that's it FOILed. So now I'm going to plug in my negative x. So that means it's a negative x squared minus 2 times negative x plus 1. So we said that negative x squared is the same as positive x squared, right? Even exponents become positives. Mm -hmm. Then negative 2 times negative x is positive 2x, and then plus 1. So no. Mm -hmm. Look, so this sign stayed the same. This one changed. This one stayed the same, so it's neither. Also, it's only odd if all the signs change. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. See, that's not so bad. No, but it just makes you have to think, and I don't feel like thinking. <laughs> well, I hate to break it to you, but that's part of math class. I gotta make you use your brain a little bit. All right, so if you guys want to go ahead and start on page 70, no, 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 75, 1 through 21 all, with a happy face. <laughs>